Wait, before you watch my new video, please subscribe first. Then you can continue to watching. Assalamualaikum, hello guys, welcome to Zakraku with me Zahra from Indonesia. So guys, 17 of August is Indonesia Independence Day. So I think today I have to make a video about the history of Indonesian Independence Day. But in this video, I will tell you about a war between British, British India, and Indonesia. Wow. So do you know guys, our heroes in the past really struggled in every war. Like there were so many wars before Independence Day and after Independence Day. It means that Indonesian people after the Independence Day, they were still struggle to war against many allied countries who want to seize Indonesia even though Indonesia has declared their Independence Day. After the proclamation of independence in Indonesia on August 17, 1945, it was not the end of the struggle of the Indonesian people. This is because even though they have declared independence, in some areas of archipelago, they must continue to struggle to maintain that independence. This was marked by the first battle between Indonesian people's fighters and foreign troops after the declaration of independence which took place in the city of Surabaya, better known as the Surabaya Battle. This battle was one of the biggest events in the history of the Indonesian National Revolution and became a national symbol that became evidence of Indonesia's resistance to colonialism. Based on the book Battle of Surabaya 1985, which is a work made by Nugroho Noto Susanto, it is stated that the Battle of Surabaya that occurred was the most tense battle that showed the high patriotism spirit of the Indonesian people to defend the Indonesian nation. This incident is also discussed in Rickliffe's commentary in his book entitled A History of Modern Indonesia since C1200, which states that the Battle of Surabaya that occurred was the most frequent battle during the revolutionary period. The British as part of this battle saw the Battle of Surabaya as like Inferno or Hell. This is because the British plan to take control of Surabaya was delayed by two days from the target date, namely November 26 due to the persistence of the Indonesian nation fighters in Surabaya. Although in the end, Surabaya as a whole still fell into the hands of the British but with this incident of the Battle of Surabaya it changed the perspective of the British and also the Dutch towards Indonesia. The beginning of the Battle of Surabaya was motivated by the arrival of Allied troops on October 25, 1945 who were members of EFNEI or Allied Forces Netherlands East Indies. The arrival of the EFNEI troops to Surabaya Precisely in Tanjung Perak was led by a general named Brigadier General Albertin Waller, Southern Malabi, who then set up a defense post. The initial purpose of the arrival of the Allies was to secure prisoners of war, disarm the Japanese soldiers, and create order after proclaiming independence. This was done by the Allied forces by distributing leaflets with the intention of getting the local people to hand over their weapons to their side. The comments of light forces made the local people in Surabaya angry and refused to hand over their weapons to the allies. This ultimately triggered a movement from the people of Surabaya to carry out attacks with the intention of expelling the light forces. In addition, the light forces were also in fact taking actions beyond their original purpose where the light troops, mostly British troops, went to storm the prison in Surabaya in an effort to free prisoners from other allied forces held in Indonesia. The allied forces also tried to take over and occupy various vital places in Surabaya. During the Surabaya War, Britain sent many Indian soldiers to Indonesia. At the time of Surabaya War, the Indian army often echoed the Takbir when fighting with the Indonesian people. It is from the screams of Takbir that the Indonesians know that the Indian is a Muslim. Then the Indonesian people explain that they are also Muslim. 
because fellow Muslims cannot fight. After that, many Indian soldiers defected to Indonesia. The scream of the Takbir in the middle of the battlefield was indeed a sign that the battle was an arena of jihad. After Hadrat Say Hashim Ashari stated that the resistance to the invaders was an obligation for Muslims. Until the end of the war of independence of the hundred of soldiers who defected, until the end of the war of independence of the hundred of soldiers who defected, the number dwindled, leaving only 75 people. 30 of them returned to Pakistan in 1950, while the rest remained in Indonesia for the rest of their lives. Meanwhile, much later, when in the 80s, while serving as president of Pakistan and making a state to visit Indonesia, Zia ul Haq specifically asked President Suharto to visit Surabaya. Alright guys, that is the history about Indian soldiers defected to Indonesia because of Allahu Akbar's voice. Alright, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, di umurku yang 25 tahun ini, aku punya skincare khusus dari Scarlett yaitu HD Lay Package. Jadi itu isinya semuanya anti aging series dari Scarlett. Pertama-tama biasanya aku selalu pakai Hydro Fresh Cleanser. Ini itu untuk membersihkan dan merawat agar wajah senantiasa glowing dan awet muda. Selanjutnya aku selalu pakai Hello B9 Plus Bio Plavita dan Ceramide Essence Toner. Ini fungsinya untuk menghidrasi, melindungi, dan meningkatkan kesehatan kulit. Selanjutnya biasanya aku selalu pakai Hialu B5 dan Reishi Mushroom dan Bivita Serum. Fungsinya untuk menutrisi, melindungi dan menghidrasi kulit agar tampak lebih awet muda. Selanjutnya aku selalu pakai Deep Hydrating and Firming Eye Serum Fungsinya untuk mengurangi tampilan garis halus kantung mata agar lebih terlihat halus dan lebih cerah Selanjutnya aku selalu pakai Pito Biotic Renewing Moisturizer jadi moisturizer ini punya tekstur yang sangat ringan diperkaya dengan lactobacillus ferment dan lain-lain Membantu menjaga kesehatan microbiome kulit dan memberikan efek memenangkan Moisturizer ini mampu mencegah dan mengurangi garis halus dan kerutan pada kulit Ini teksturnya ringan banget dan nyaman banget kalau diaplikasikan Nah ini kulit. dia hasilnya setelah aku pakai skincare anti aging series dari Scarlett Lihat awet muda begitu ya semua produk Scarlett sudah terdaftar di BPOM dan not listed on animal ya guys Nih aku saranin ya buat kalian yang berumur 25 tahun ke atas Kalian wajib cobain skincare ini Karena bisa memperlambat penuaan